Literacy is a door to knowledge essential to individual self-esteem and empowerment. Books in all forms play an essential role in our lives. A book is a set of written, printed, illustrated or blank sheets made of ink, paper, parchment or other materials fastened together to hinge at one side. A single sheet within a book is a leaf and each side of the leaf is a page. Books may also refer to works of literature or a main division of such a work. In library and information science, a book is called a monograph to distinguish it from serial pendicles such as magazines, journals or newspapers. What is a library? Mm, a library could be said to be a part of a building or a building containing information resources that are made accessible. Those information resources could be printed or non-printed, made available to the uh, public for use. And these resources are being managed and controlled by personnel who take charge of them. Books are a valuable learning tool for individuals and academic institutions. Reading books enable one to sharpen and develop certain skills such as reading comprehensions, communications, phonetics and interpreting photographs. A book is a written or printed work containing pages that are being glued, once, uh, glued or sewn together on one side and is being bounded with covers. Okay. Books play an important role in our lives as books can be said to be our own friend in a real sense. Good books improve our standard of living and tone up our own intellectual taste of broaden our outlook. There are situations where we see reading as an interaction with the text. That simply means that you have the reader this way and you have the text the other way and two of them must come together and they come together making use of the language the author used in documenting information and then the reader uses the same language to get into that information. Now you could also look at it from the process point. That means there is a beginning. You start off somewhere, you do certain things till you get there. You could also look at it from recognition of the symbols that are used in presenting the words. There are so many ways to look at. Depends on what somebody wants to get from it. Reading books allow both children and adults to learn and understand the alphabet, achieve a minimal standard of literacy, and help us understand the roles of life in our society. Reading came in as the first three Arabs that came along with the colonial masters. When they came, they were interested in reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's why we call them three Arabs. Now, for reading at that point, it was for the converts to read the Bible, to be able to read the hymns, and participate in the religious uh, worships that were taking place. But from there, we discovered that we needed more than that. And because there was a program to try to get people into learning how to read, reading came to be in this country. Okay. It has moved beyond that stage, far ahead of that stage. Some books have characters that people can easily relate to, which allows them to gain a better understanding of their own emotions, including happiness, sorrow, anger, and pleasure. Reading different genres of books allow one to have a better understanding and appreciation for things from other cultures. How often do you read books? The last time I read my book was two weeks ago. When I was in Akin, 2013, that's when I read my book. The last time I read my book. I read books almost every day. Uh, like this morning, I read my Bible.
I don't really read often, Sha, but reading is very important. So the last time I read was last night. And that was English for my assignment. The last time that I read the book was yesterday. I think reading comes from the mind at your leisure. I think like I read at my leisure when I'm at rest, I'm at peace with myself. I just take a novel and read. But it mustn't be on daily basis. Whenever I think I'm relaxed, so it's something you have to apply your mental capacity. So when you're at peace with yourself, just take a novel and read. Because you're not reading for exams. The site has shown that if you read, you live a life that is worthy of emulation. That is why it's always good for someone to read. Because they say knowledge never ends. As you read, you acquire knowledge. As you read, you acquire knowledge. Even though that's why you see most of the professors, they still continue reading. I read books often. Uh, today I read a book. I'm actually on a book right now. And I take, ta I take out time in the morning. Like 30 minutes, 20 minutes to read either a chapter or two. So our advice you today is to get a book to study because it will increase your vocabulary and your relationship with people will increase. Studies by lending experts such as Timothy Shanahan have shown that staying mentally stimulated can slow down the progress of different mental ailments such as dementia. Very, 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 very. You see the way I've stressed the very, 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 very important. Okay. Uh, you, you talk about developing self. You develop self when you have so much knowledge about things around you. And books are there to provide such opportunity. So, if you really want to get to know about things, is it in politics? Is it in education? Is it in religion? Socially, books will be there to give to you. So, it's really mandatory that we lay a good foundation. Everything read fills the brain with new bits of information that may come in handy at any time. Reading also helps in building one's vocabulary so we can confidently speak to people in higher authority as it boosts our self-esteem. We have what we call remedial reading. Remedial in the sense that a child does not work according to its level in the reading continuum. Reading continuum has phases that somebody should realize at a particular level of education. If that has occurred, it means there should be a concerted effort to first of all identify the reading needs of that child. Is it lack of skills? Is it the learning content? Is it some emotional factor? You must find out first because you do not develop any program outside the need of the person that will have to use that program. So if we identify the reading needs of the child, it's now good to call in the experts. Can you put up programs? If it is skills, we now start giving the child skills. If it was the learning content that created problem, which I know is really serious problem in our country, we also must have to work on it. What about the materials? The text that are there. Who are the people writing the textbooks? Are they conversant with the modern reading techniques that are there? Because you must develop things accordingly. So we can motivate them to read when we try as much as possible to let them see the good in reading. If if you have to, if I have to go out for conferences, wherever I go to, I'm comfortable. Because I have read and I'm prepared, I'll be able to share with people. That's what I'm benefiting from, reading. Reading books helps develop many qualities such as improved vocabulary, high cognitive reasoning and many more. We might lose everything such as our jobs, our possession, money and even our health. 
but knowledge acquired can never be taken from you.